and we had to get five dollars worth of stuff. Saw this place on the corner of the road. What is this? We love tacky. This place is so cool. What's in there? some touch-ups before we head into the springs and I'm using this really beautiful MAC blush this is the shade melon pink for eyes I've been using the Dominique the moment palette I used this in my last video but instead of going with the blues I went with these shades here and I love these together Let's see if I can get you in here oh hey <laughs> there's Marianne Gonna add some to my highlight. I'm gonna go with these rounds under the lash line. I feel like we're at Mako Island. It is so green. <laughs> and the tail is kind of H2O-esque. Oh my god, it's so peaceful. We're in Florida. Such a beautiful air so. Why are you not in? Why are you not over there anymore? I ran for my life because I heard a little chirping sound, and we already saw the gator warning. So I was like, and took through the tail off. But we got it. Little Sorry, I didn't get it on video. <laughs> that sound. Where are you going? Where are you going? But yeah, we're packing up and we're headed to Orlando. Have anything to say? <laughs> you looked like you were about to. <laughs> uh, it's a bird, it was a bird or something. It was, it was not a bird, it was a small, crocodile. <laughs> Hey 
Oh no, that's not going anywhere. Jump from one bed to the other. Like a child. <laughs> And we're doing Universal tomorrow. We are all so loopy, but I think we are gonna watch a little bit of Harry Potter. Good morning. This is the Harry Potter world outfit of the day. We did not get up as early as we should have. Wow, what are you doing? <laughs> Welcome to Hogsmeade. For the best experience, get a park to park ticket so you can do both Hogsmeade and Diagon Alley. This was my favorite area in the park, maybe because it wasn't as crowded yet, and the wand shop is so epic. Everything is really detailed, and when you look up, even on the way going into the shop, there are owls that move up high. You know, I gotta go with the kid. But there's so many pretty ones. Harry Ann, which one are you? My wand has chosen. I don't know. I'm looking at every single one. <laughs> it's a big choice. <laughs> It's rolling. It's rolling? Yeah, we're rolling. Okay, we're trying. It's good, right? Yeah. Sorry. So we just went on the Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey ride. You can see the um, Hogwarts right there. And it was so fun. Like, I'm not a rides person, but um, it felt like you were flying. It was very magical. So, highly recommend going there. And the wait wasn't even that bad. So, yeah. How did you like it? I loved it. I was a little scared. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that is so fun. You're the kitty. How did you do that? With the park to park ticket, we took the train to Diagon Alley, and for lunch, we went to the Leaky Cauldron, which has a bunch of British themed food. I would say the food is like a 5 out of 10. It wasn't amazing, but it was a really cool spot.
and we waited quite a while to go on the Gringotts ride. This area was a lot busier midday. I would recommend doing it with the early access if you really want to hit all the rides and go on this one before it gets crazy. The line outside was really long, but once you're in Gringotts, it's beautiful and you can get to see the goblins, which look really real. If you've been and want to share any Wizarding World tips or hidden places, let me know in the comments and tell me your house. I'm Slytherin, but that doesn't even suit me. I feel like I did the quiz in high school. Maybe I was more evil then or something, but it was a really cool experience. We spent the rest of the day at the park and it was amazing. It stays open till 10. We're leaving at 6. We'd had enough of the crowds, but when we first got there, it really wasn't crowded. So we thought we got lucky, but then by the end, it was very long line so we did the first ride and I loved it like that was peak happiness to me it was so exciting and then the second ride we did was the Gringotts Bank one it was really cool but we waited for like two hours and we happened to be right behind a group of the most obnoxious teenagers I've ever seen like they were having a lot of fun but picture anything annoying you can do when you're waiting in a line like jumping on the handlebars and like yelling screaming clapping really loud trying to like entice a riot <laughs> and that was who we were with <laughs> and they were so annoying we ended up butting them I butted them just because I was petty and I I wanted to be like hey you put us through that I'm butting you so that was my petty win of the day I just kept the line not with a knife you know but anyways, it was a really fun experience. And we got this owl. This was my favorite thing, and it's a puppet. I showed this before, but let me see if I can make the head kind of spin. <laughs> and we want to see what our cat thinks of it. So we'll see if uh, Santana freaks out or not. And we also got the wands. I think my favorite experience was the wand shop. I love my Luna Love Good wand that I got. And... I, I did really like the first ride. The butter beer was really, really good. I didn't try it hot because I told people told me it was better cold. But yeah, overall, it was a wonderful day. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me. And we still have one more fairy tale photo shoot, so I'll include that in the vlog. I'm gonna see my parents now eat at Bonefish, and I'll talk to you later. <laughs> I'm vlogging. Do you want to say anything? No. <laughs> We're back from Orlando and we're doing another photo shoot today. Marianne is behind the camera and she dressed me in this beautiful Fiori dress. This is the Sicilian gown. We have hand painted flowers. I love all the colors and it goes beautifully with this vintage couch that I thrifted. So yeah, hopefully we got some good shots. I wanted to give a close up also of this makeup and it's the Bridgerton collection. So here's what that looks like. Ooh, the pilot's really good. And this is the last style. It's another fairy tale maiden look. And we have a blueberry pie. So I have blueberry stained lips, some faux freckles, and I did a half up, half down do. Let's see how the food prep's going. Hold on, I'm gonna take out these crummies. <laughs> Little crummy crumbs. Hand fed only. Thanks for watching another magical week in my life. This is Marianne. I feel like she's just been in the background. Old cameras. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll have her username on screen if you guys want to check out all of her amazing photos. We're going to eat some pie and yeah, we'll have everything also linked because Marianne always gives me the best posts. <laughs>